Hey folks, Fernando doing another video for the Mortal Survivalist, and in this case I'm doing something very, very simple, which is going through the fact sheet of the Pfizer COVID vaccine. This is no conspiracy theory thing, this is directly from Pfizer.com, these are the guys that make the product, so it's their own information. This is what the people making it are actually telling you, this is... I mean, as clear as it gets. And I'm no anti-vaxxer. I've had more shots than most people probably watching this, giving them from South America and Argentina. You get shots for stuff that doesn't even exist in other places. So I've got more than a fair share of shots myself. My kids have had some, depending on what we thought was a good idea, talking with our doctor and giving their own advice and our own good judgment. This makes sense. It doesn't make sense so much. So making decisions, trying to get as much information as possible before making each one of these decisions and then going with it or not depending on what we believe was best based on our own good judgment and the information we were getting from our you know trusted um, doctors so when you go here to the website pfizer.com you may find yourself navigating through a few interesting things for example about pfizer let's see what they have to say people responsibility okay that's kind of important you're you know, putting a product out there that's, you know, being forced on the entire human race. So what are your responsibilities with all of this? Responsibility? Let's see what are their main responsible Compliance and ethics. Okay, that's nice. Diversity, equity, and inclusion. Everyone has something to offer. Okay, that doesn't seem to be all that important regarding pharmaceuticals, but I suppose... Uh, EHS governance, environmental sustainability, our responsibility to the environment, facility investment, supporting global impact, meeting urgent needs worldwide. So it's a globalist, diversity, environmentally friendly company. That has to be all good. I don't see anything that could be potentially evil right there. But let's go back to the main topic of the video. Given that people are being forced to get this all over the world, most people, I'll say that less than 1% of people that got this actually bothered reading the fact sheet of the medication they were getting from the same company. Not some weird conspiracy theory thing online, but Pfizer.com. You cannot get more uh, accurate than this, than the information coming from the proper manufacturer, the lab making it. So for consumers, right, that would be the people getting this, uh, Pfizer BioNTech, that's the name of the, the commercial name of, of the vaccine, uh, uh, emergency use authorization fact sheet, and we'll click on that. And here you have a bunch of information that you probably want to check before you decide, make up your mind about getting this or not. That was when you actually had a choice of deciding. That is no longer the case. Thanks to, to the lobbying of these pharmaceuticals, that right has been stripped away from a lot of people, and that number is increasing by the day. But you know, since you're being forced to get this, maybe be a little bit better prepared. What are the risks of the vaccine? Okay, uh, let's see, what are the benefits? Because that's important too, you know, you're getting this because it's supposed to have certain benefits. So what are the benefits? Okay, the vaccine has been shown to prevent COVID-19. Mm, oh, wow. wait a minute, prevent like 100%? That's certainly not true because we know that's not the case. So up to what percentage or, you know, how much is it preventing it if people are getting it and still getting infected and infecting others? That does That is simply not uh, all that accurate. But then we have some more information. So, I mean, you cannot fault them for this because they say right here, the duration of the protection against COVID-19 is currently unknown. It is currently unknown. That is like me selling you a car and selling you, well, the... Uh, the duration of this vehicle and for how long it will run is currently unknown. So if you just sit on the car and try and it just runs for a couple minutes, it is currently unknown, man. That's what I'm saying. You can decide, uh, but this is the information you've been provided. Again, the duration of the protection against COVID-19 is currently unknown for this product. Okay, that's not very encouraging, but let's see what they have to say about what are the risks of the vaccine. That is something that has a lot of people concerned, so let's check that out. Um, there is a remote chance 
that the vaccine could cause a severe allergic reaction and a severe allergic reaction would usually occur within a few minutes to one hour after getting a dose of the vaccine. And to, to be completely fair, that's usually the case with any vaccine you're getting, even if it's a, a tried and true uh, vaccine that's been around forever and has actually shown to save millions of people's lives. There's always a possibility of you having a severe allergic reaction and you may end up very sick, people end up dying because of some severe reactions they may have. The numbers, though, for uh, the vaccines that have been around and proven to be very effective still greatly outweigh those risks, but it's something that could happen with any vaccine. Now, going back to specifically this one, we keep on reading, a severe allergic reaction would usually occur within a few minutes, one hour, being dosed. For this reason, your vaccination provider may ask you to stay at the place where you receive your vaccine monitoring after vaccination. Signs of severe allergic reaction can include difficulty breathing, swelling of your face and throat, a fast heart beat, a bad rash all over your body, dizziness and, dizziness and weakness. Okay, those um, could happen with most, I, I think that all of the vaccines I know of, you could have, and it's usually a case that if you took a kid to get a shot for something, you're asked to stay for a few minutes, 15 minutes, half an hour, something along those lines to see that there's no severe immediate allergic reaction. Now, there's this other thing that goes on immediately after that, you're kind of like normalizing it like with, with the expected things that you would have with a shot, which is myocarditis, inflammation of the heart muscle, and pericarditis, inflammation of the lining outside the heart, have occurred in some people who have received the vaccine. More commonly in males under 40 years of age than among females and older males. Um, okay, in most of these people, symptoms begin within a few days following receipts of the second dose of the vaccine. The chance of having this occur is very low. How low is it? Because that sounds kind of serious. I don't even know what myocarditis is. I'm gonna be checking that in a second, but you could provide me with some number as of how, what very low actually is, because that seems serious. You should seek medical attention right away if you have any of the following symptoms after receiving the vaccine. Chest pain, shorter of, shortness of breath, feeling of having a fast, a fast beating, fluttering, or pounding heart. Yeah, you would probably want to contact your, uh, your medical health immediately if you're feeling those. Side effects that have been reported with the vaccine. So these are our side effects that have been um, reported. Some These things have actually happened to people. Severe allergic reaction, non-severe allergic reactions such as a rash, itchiness, swelling of the face, myocarditis, inflammation of the heart muscle, pericarditis, inflammation of the lining outside the heart, injection site pain, tiredness, headache, muscle pain, chills, joint pain, fever, injection site swelling, injection site redness, nausea, feeling unwell, swollen lymph nodes, decreased appetite, diarrhea, vomiting, arm pain, fainting in association with injection of the vaccine. These may not be able... These may not be able... The, the, this, <laughs> these may not be all the possible side effects of the vaccine. Serious and unexpected side effects may occur. The possible side effects of the vaccine are still being studied in clinical trials, so they don't know what else could happen to you. That is going to be, you know, let's, you know, let's count our blessings and hope for the best. What should I do aside, aside of the event? Well, there's really not much. No, let's go back to this myocarditis thing because it sounds like they, you know, this is happening in a low, yeah, um, this occurs, the chance of having this occur is very low. That doesn't give me a lot of confidence. Uh, what is very low? What are the exact numbers? Given how many people you've gotten this already, uh, what is very low? What are, what's that number? Because I'd like to know what chance I have of having this myocarditis thing. What is that, by the way? Okay, myocarditis is also known as inflammation cardio, uh, cardiomyopathy. Is inflammation of the heart muscle. Symptoms can include shortness of breath, chest pain, decreased ability to exercise, and an irregular heartbeat. The duration of the problems can vary from hours to months. Complications may include heart failure, due to a delayed, a delayed cardiomyopathy or cardiac arrest. Cardiac arrest sounds bad. So, yeah, cardiac arrest is a sudden loss of blood flow. Your heart is kind of important without that. Now, 
this is I actually know a, a person that had this a, a young young a man a kid you know, a, a friend from a, my my kids a university a, a student a friend of of his an acquaintance of, of, of his in, in college 19 year old kid had this happen to him ended up going to the doctor and he's now on heart medication for the rest of his life perfectly healthy 19 year old kid 19 year old young man maybe I should say but that is his life from now on now you also have to keep in mind that heart failure is by far the most common cause of death around the world how is it that they're keeping track of everyone that is dying out of heart failure? And how is it that they know this is not associated to this? I mean, is there anyone running these numbers? Have Is anyone actually checking? Let's put it this way. Is anyone actually checking in this last year, in this last few months, an increase in the amount of heart failure among young people, among specifically as Pfizer so kindly exp explains here, males under the age of 40. Is anyone checking if there's been an increase of these or not? I, you know, I, I don't see it. I mean, I haven't seen any numbers. They're definitely not talking about any of this. There's really not a lot of, of information out there regarding um, this side effect specifically and many of the other ones that may be included in this as they said it, again, these are not my words. This is Pfizer. They may not, these may not be all the possible side effects of the vaccine. Serious and unexpected side effects may occur. The possible side effects of the vaccine are still being studied in clinical trials. They never mention anything here about the blood clots, which we know already is one of the potential uh, side effects. Uh, some of the other effects from the spike protein None of that is being mentioned here. This is all very broad and, you know, you know, leave it at, you know, having good luck. Basically, that is it. But this is not the kind of thing that gives you a lot of confidence in saying, okay, I'm going to be getting this because there's this new variant that's even less uh, lethal than the previous one. So I'm going to be rushing to get one, two, three shots of this stuff. But this is the world in which we are right now. People don't bother reading because they just trust the provider uh, of the medication more than their own good judgment, apparently, and even uh, <laughs> in our cases, just the politicians doing what they are forcing you to do because otherwise you're not allowed to live in the, in the society as we have it today. So, guys, this is very simple, very straightforward. I'm just wondering what you guys think about it. Let me know in the comments section what you think. This isn't giving me a whole lot of trust when they drag me and force me to get this uh, as apparently is going to be the, the, the reality we're all going to be living in, uh, unfortunately, soon enough. Anyway, folks, see you on our next video. Have an awesome day. Take care.